Hello, welcome to Graduate Lab channel. Today I will do review of Easel chatbot. I played a bit with this one and I must say it is really easy to use and set up. You can load your data from virtually anywhere. I will show you how it works, how integrations with Slack and website widget work and will tell what I like and what can be improved in this tool. Regular pricing starts as 99 per month for 10,000 replies. However, at the moment, ESO is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. You get all of the features included. And license tiers just differ a bit in terms of how many monthly replies you can expect. Also, with license tier 2, you get 10 team members included. With license tier 3, you have 30 team members and have ability to connect your own open API key to use GPT-4. However, in my opinion, ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo, which is default language model, is far more than enough for a chatbot to answer questions about data which is loaded into it. Before we move to actual demo, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more similar videos and give this video a like if you find the content useful. Please also check the link to this deal in the description. Moving to the actual demo. And first, let me show you the great onboarding that Easel provides. This is the screen that you will see after creating an account. Let's set some link about airline terms and conditions and start scrape. Let's quickly ask the question. What is the baggage allowance per person? And that's it, we are onboarded into the tool. We have created first knowledge base item. We got the correct answer detailed with cited sources. I think this is the greatest and fastest onboarding into chatbot that I saw recently. And I already reviewed quite a few of different AI chatbots. So let's proceed with the demo. So this is the main dashboard. And for our knowledge base, we can add data from Confluence pages, from Google Docs, Google Sheets, import data from Notion. We can add public links, for example, your documentation from Zendesk or Intercom, and we can upload PDF files. There is additional way how you can import data with ESO. They provide Chrome extension and you can import a particular tab. So now it's done. Let's say we would like to ask some questions about Ryanair airline. Going back to our dashboard, we can see our page was added through Chrome extension. Let's go to chat. And imagine you have a question about Flexi Plus fare. Let's send. And here's the response that we are getting. Very detailed response with provided citations. That is great. Let's upload a PDF as well. Just uploaded a file, it is this one, about plus airport line, pretty lengthy one, and here it is, we can see that file on the dashboard, like so. And let's ask some questions about the data from that file. And now let's do that through a Slack integration. So we can see ESL app in general channel. So let's ask ESL chatbot, what is the plus airport line call center number and working hours? We can see the chatbot is working on the answer. And here's the answer. The plus airport line call center number is this one. And here are working hours. That was very fast and accurate. And again, we are getting the source, which is great. Let's also add some public links and let's do crawler. We'll use knowledge base from another chatbot called Answerly. Let's start scraping. Okay, we got our data loaded. Let's see it at the knowledge section. We can see our loaded data and we can see that Answerly crawling is in progress. Here are more and more pages appearing from Answerly knowledge base. And it's done. And here it is, answer the knowledge base. And this time, let's interact with chatbot with yet another way through a website widget, which I added to my website. Let's ask how you can contact answer the team. 
And here it is, the exact answer that is needed. We provided source of the information. This is insane. So far, ESO application works perfectly well as expected. All right, moving to the conclusion. I was very impressed about how easy it was to set up this chatbot. You can load data from virtually anywhere, from internal links, from public links, upload local files. There is easy to use Chrome extension to add data from any web pages, public or internal ones. There is decent amount of integrations. You can play with chat through a dashboard. You can get a shareable link to your chat. You can integrate it with Slack Messenger. As I showed you before, you can integrate it as a website widget. Even you can add it to Microsoft Teams. That's a great feature for corporate users. And even you can add it to a Confluence page. You can embed your chat right into your documentation. And now moving to things which, in my opinion, can be improved. At the knowledge section, we can see all the data which was loaded. It would be nice if you can rename those files or add some tags. And it would be ideal if you could create several chatbots with ESO application. In this case, this tool will be perfect. For example, you can have one chatbot for one knowledge base and another chatbot for a different one. So please check the link to this tool in the description. Also, please give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.